Hola, ¿cómo están? My loves, it's Tori, the whole villa of Guided Intuition, and I'm here to do a pick a card reading for the month of November. This is going to be your self care package, honey. Everything that you need to know when it comes to your spiritual, mental, and physical well being for the month of November. So, my extraordinary love muffins, before we jump into your pick a card reading, I just want to take some time to tell you about this amazing company who has sponsored this video. Just Cozy Things is an online shop and community dedicated to self-love and coziness. Like, this is truly their lifestyle. I absolutely love the owner Lillian and her self-love journey because you guys know I am an advocate for anyone who stands in their truth and she does it oh so well. They have bath bombs, delicious flower infused teas, planners, ritual kits, oh my. Okay, make sure that you follow them on Instagram. I love to call Just Cozy Things my little comfy, cozy, self-love corner of Instagram. I always click on her page to give me that daily reminder on a daily basis that I am the what? S-H-I-T. Because just like I said, they are a shop where you can get all of your self-love essentials, but they are also a community speaking self-love, self-worth, and self-acceptance into the life of beautiful souls. Just Cozy Things is your one-stop shop for all of your essential needs to comfort you on your self-love journey. So, what I want you to do, Love Muffin, is I want you to close your eyes, okay? I want you to tap into your divinity right now. And I want you to say spirit, okay? What is it that you need me to know about the month of November that is going to support me on my journey, my mental stability, my physical stability, and my spiritual stability? What is it that I need to know? And then I just want you to pick one of these beautiful candles so pick number one will be Tracine. I'm praying I'm saying that name right, but this is a stone that you will want to carry around if you are wanting to manifest more success and financial freedom into your life. So pick number two is going to be one of my favorite stones and this candle smells divine. It is rose quartz. This is known as the love stone. So if you will want to manifest love in another, in yourself, in your life in general, this will be a stone that you would carry around with you. And last we have pick three, which is the sea opal. And this is the meditation stone. And this reminds me of the word stillness because we know in the midst of stillness, that's where clarity is and all the answers you desire. Which one is calling you? Because whatever candle that is, there is going to be a message for you that is going to change your life for the better. Okay, love muffins. So I'm going to go ahead and start with pick number one, but the timestamps are in the description box if you need them. And hola, como están, my love muffins, all of my beautiful enchiladas who picked this candle number one, okay? So you guys always butcher this name, okay? But I'm gonna try it for y'all. I'm gonna try it for you guys in the month of November. This crystal, um, this candle is called Tracine. Did I say it right? Did I say it right? Please tell me I did. <laughs> I should know this. I should know this stone though. This crystal is one of my favorite crystals, okay? It is the crystal of success. And also it represents money. People usually get this to cultivate and call in more abundance into their life. This is what it looks like in crystal form, okay? And actually guys, in the candle from Just Cozy Things, there is actually crystal. There's actually a crystal in there, a Tracine crystal right there. Can you guys see it, okay? <laughs> but yes, so if you picked this candle, for your self care package. First thing that I wanna let you know is that in the month of November or whenever you're viewing this love muffin, you are cultivating on an energetic level more success into your life. Be it in your finances, be it just, I feel like overall in your life, there is some kind of change happening. For a lot of my love muffins, this success that you are focused on bringing or creating in your life right now in this very moment, I really feel like it's due on a spiritual level, you know, like on an inner level. That's where your mentality is. 
I feel like for a lot of my love muffins, it is going to manifest in some kind of tangible form, but that's what you're about. You're just about success on an inner level. I feel like this is something to do with your spiritual journey because in your deck, your additional crystal right here, um, this is my spirit quartz, okay? And this is all about ascension. This is all about a spiritual awakening. And I really feel like my number ones, you're really defining what success is for you. What does that mean to have success? You know, for some, maybe you looked at it as in a form, look at the ice cream man going by, but maybe you looked at it as a form of success is like outer things, like, you know, the car, the house. Maybe you're very successful. Maybe you have all these things and you're realizing, you know, is that really success? And then another way that I'm seeing it is that for some of my love muffins, you know, you know, you have that, I want to say inner success, because I feel like it's flip flop. Like for some, you're more focused on creating inner success because you have tangible things, you know. Um, and then for some of my love muffins, I feel like you're more so focusing on manifesting all of the spiritual success or healing that you have within and the physical realm. I hope that I'm making sense, but that's the way that spirit is, show, is showing me. You'll know which way that is for you, but I really feel like you are defining um, and reaching success as you see it. But also with this spirit course, this is all about your third eye opening your crown chakra opening so i feel like there's definitely a spiritual awakening on a new level happening for my love muffins for some this is you know really working with the law of attraction really um you know bringing that spiritual bank into the physical and then for some of my love muffins you already have this 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 um this outer stuff you know and now it's more so about cultivating on an inner level spiritually. So either way, the month of November is a very eye-opening, very spiritual month for you. I see a lot of success in the tangible realm, you know, as in the now, but also on a spiritual level. This this stone is all about protection. It's all about a spiritual awakening, okay? And your crown chakra is really going off. So really listen to your intuition because your intuition knows what is happening and it knows what it's talking about my pick number ones okay so let's go ahead and dive deep so the first card that i pulled for you guys right here this is going to be what you are cultivating what's happening for you what are you manifesting into your life in the month of <laughs> november if i say october guys please forgive me okay but um listen I know when you guys see this card right here, abundance, this was, this literally, guys, when I shuffle these cards, I don't look, I don't do any of that. Honestly, I shuffled and like came back three days to shoot the video, so I don't even know. And I feel like right here with abundance, when your heart's intentions is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. So like I said, yeah, you're really going deep my number ones just to see how you can show up more be it for your family be it for yourself be it for your soul tribe you know i really feel like you're defining what abundance is to you for some of you you're going to be meeting different people that's really going to help you um you know connect with yourself on a spiritual level and really manifest that inner harmony that inner peace and then for some of my love muffins i see you really connecting with someone who's actually going to help you manifest all of the stuff that you have on a spiritual level and bring it in the physical form. So nonetheless, this is what you're cultivating. This is what you're manifesting in the month of November. And that's abundance, my number ones. This is what's happening. Everything that happens to you right here is to better you, no matter how difficult it is. Because I'm not going to lie, with some spiritual awakenings, you have to, you know, it doesn't always feel good. Let's keep it real. It doesn't feel good, my um, number ones. But whatever trans, you know, whatever happens or transpires in the month of November or whenever you're watching this, know that it's of your highest good, okay? Because this is something that my number ones are you know, bringing into your life, stability and security. And I feel like for some of you, this is finances, but also like bringing you stable connections, be it in love, be it, you know, in friends and business, just really bringing you stability 
Isn't that the ultimate success right here? Stability and, oh my God, stability and security. One plus one is two. Two is the number of harmony. So I feel like that's what's happening in your life. You're creating harmony in your life. And as I'm saying that, my throat chakra wants to close up my number one. So I really feel like whatever has been knocked out of balance, maybe you've had connections that you really couldn't trust. For some of you, maybe you've had people that use you, abuse you, lie to you, like even in love, like it just hasn't been 100. I really feel like sound people, relationships and business and friendships are coming into your life. Um, connections and opportunities that you're not going to have to question, okay? You're not going to have to question. So I feel like a lot of a lot of work is um, happening in your root um, your root chakra, which is all about our finances. It's all about how we show up in relationships. It's all about our relationships. All about our emotions, our beliefs, how we view things, how we experience things. So yeah, you're really going deep within in the month of November with these questions about life and what life means to you and what do you define as success and what is success. You you know those questions. <laughs> it's like a spiritual awakening happening for my number ones. Okay, so. So from the um, the energy nurse angel message, this is a message from your angels. It says, discover a new color or shade, one that's new to you. It can be revitalized, auto-tuned to a color that feels right, okay? The angels heard... The angels heard there's a sale. Time for a new colored shirt, scarf, or hat. Angels are great um, shoppers. So I feel like with this um, card right here for you guys, a lot of you are going to be coming out of the dark night of the soul. I want to say if you've been in some kind of like dark or like depression or just like in a funk or just like very, you know, it's been very gray, okay? Um, I see you coming out of that and really stepping into your personal power. I just see yellow really stepping in and in, stepping into your masculine energy, male or female. I feel like you're going to be taking action. It's a very active month for you guys. Now, um, with I don't know. There's just this weird energy too. You know, maybe because you're going to be doing something new, you're going to be stepping out of your element of something or you're you're adapting a new belief or a new way of being. For some of you, this could be a physical place. It's, it, it's There's something new and maybe you don't feel quite, you know, ready for this change. You don't feel like, you know, you can do this. But my number ones, you can, okay? You got this. Okay, <laughs> no matter what you're facing, for some of you, it's a new job opportunity. It's even starting school, some kind of business. You're moving to a new place or questioning it. But this is what spirit is saying. Go with it. Okay, even if it feels foreign, even if you feel like, okay, you don't know what you're doing. I feel like you have a strong game face and spirit is just saying, just keep in that flow. And eventually it's going to it's going to all come together. Okay, so this is. From my healing mantra deck, we have dispelling, did I say that right? Dispelling or dispelling, yeah, dispelling sadness. And this is what I, this, I feel like there's a melancholy around you, you know? And I feel like it's leaving, you're moving away from, um, you know, things that trouble you. And one thing about healing that we don't talk about, my number ones, is that, you know, um, when you're really healing, that's when it hurts, hurt the, hurts the most because you're really going into some, deep into some places that, um, you know, they don't feel good. When you have to look at some ways about yourself or how you show up or family or relationships, you know, it, it can be, it can be a little doozy. Okay. But I feel like, listen, I will feel better once I get, um, the rest I need. So really take the time to um, pour into yourself, rejuvenate yourself, rest, cry, you know, um, really pamper yourself. My number ones take you, um, definitely hit, um, hit up Lillian at just cozy things and get you some um, bath bombs and, you know, all of your little essentials just to really pamper yourself, get a facial. I just feel like take the necessary steps, um, of rest that you need. Okay. You really want to make sure that you're doing that. I feel like anytime you feel out, unbalanced that's how you're going to bring yourself back into balance is by just taking care of yourself pampering yourself catering to yourself um, is what spirit is showing me and it says untangling neglect I take the time to give myself all the approval I desire so here it is 
With gaining your personal power, One of the things that we love to do is we like to let people, our status, our job, what we have really define us, my number ones. And I feel like you're coming away from that and realizing that you give yourself approval or just really allowing allowing yourself to do what it is that you want. Yes, those things are nice. Those things are beautiful. Um, however, it does not define you. It does not make you qualified. You make you qualified, you know, and maybe you were, um, looking for validation or you know acceptance through the stuff that you have or through certain relationships or parents approval or some kind of approval that I feel like you were looking for outside of yourself that's coming to a close and you're going to be realizing um, my number ones that you are your approval that you know what's best for you you know the steps that you need to take okay nobody knows what's best for you better than you okay that's my that's my little slogan so we also have Um, lifetime after lifetime, I am a shining spirit, a beautiful light. I am always safe. Okay. I am eternal. I will go on forever, forever from experience to experience. So I feel like what this is saying to me and my number ones is that enjoy the journey. You know, if you make a mistake, if you, if you make a decision and you find out later, okay, that wasn't the right decision, (laughs) you know, or you find out, you know what? I'm so happy I made this decision. Listen, you come to earth for an experience. There's no wrong way to go to choose. Okay. So really When it comes to you defining what success is and what path that you want to walk, it's all about what makes you happy. You know, what brightens your light life up? What is a way that you can connect and shine your beautiful light? I feel like that's something that you're going to be questioning and finding the answers in the month of November. And it's also going to be taking you on a path, launching your journey. I am I am an interpreted traveler sailing forth into the universe. So I feel like, yeah, you're on a journey of self-discovery and really defining what is best for you, okay? What is best for you? What do you want to do? Because your self-love guidance is to use your hands more in the month of November. So I feel like this could be some kind of art, some kind of, you know, um, creative project. What do you do to create? Do you write? Do you sew? You know, do you build something with your hands? Use your hands. Get creative. Okay. Or honestly, I feel like take action on the things that light you up. This card is also screaming to me because the angel number that came through for my number ones was 444. That is the masculine energy. That's all about action, stability, you know, and I feel like there's time for you to really focus on your stability, focus on the things that light you up my number ones. Okay. And there's some creative project with your hands or something that spirit is saying, take the leap of faith. Take a risk. Put your heart's true desires into action. This is this is literally what the month of November is screaming at you. <laughs> Mentally, spiritually, and physically, it's time for you to do what it is that you want to do, my number ones. Don't let people or business or excuses hold you back, but really do what it is that you want to do. Okay, so your um, motivation manifesto card says... The white space of a free day seems unfathomable. Always mess these words up because we have become hypnotized by a false but compelling need to respond to all the needs of others. Now, didn't I just say that? In the month of November, it's all about you putting you first. You putting you first, okay? I'm gonna tell you something, my number ones that you really need to embody and that you really need to learn. Because on my self-love journey, though, you know, love and light and joy and peace, those are beautiful words and I'm so thankful for them and they're really, they're, they're the light at the end of the tunnel. But how you really invoke those words, how you really get to those places, how you really get to experience that is by two other words, okay? Selfishness and learning to say the word no, okay? If you had... 20 yeses to give out for the rest of your life. What would you say yes to? And what would you say no to? You know, you will be mindful of what you pull on. You'll be mindful of what you give your time and attention. And I'm really seeing like, that's something that you need to consider in the month of November. What are you, what are, you know, 
like you keep saying yes to everybody else and no to yourself. No, you need to say no to everybody else and yes to yourself. You need to get a little selfish with you. You need to get a little selfish when it comes to doing the things that you desire to do, creating, starting something. I just feel like life purpose, connecting with your passions right here. We also have, again, risk it. So for you to really get the most out of the month of November, whenever you're viewing this, guys, I keep saying that because whenever you see this, it's meant for you. We know that time does not exist. When something is meant for you, it will show up. I don't care if it's a reading from three years ago. When it is meant for you, honey, it will resonate with your life. But we got risk it, okay? Great things are born from those brave enough to fly, those who are willing to risk failure. Your dreams require action and you're ready to make a move. Remember, you have nothing to lose. Even if you flop, didn't I just say that? You'll receive valuable insights. So get off your butt and take a leap. Go for it. I couldn't say it any better myself. It's time for you. You've been playing it safe. My number one spirit is really asking you to step out of your comfort zone, okay? Um, and really fly. Take a risk in something that you want. This could be in love. This could be in career. You know what it is, okay? But I feel like you know you've, you've played it safe. There's something element of safe here that spirit is saying get a little unsafe, okay? Um, and we also have you're awesome and surrender your full power, guys. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small, what are you playing small at my number ones? Is it love? Okay, is it love? Is it your passions? Is it a career? Are you playing safe? Like, what are you What are you doing? It's time for you to step into your full power. You are worthy. You can do it. This is the perfect opportunity. And I really feel like for this, this is really the energy that my number ones need to embody for the rest of the year in 20. And um, 2021 coming, like, it's all about self. And I know we're taught, you know, that that is so wrong. But no, I feel like you've put a lot of work in helping others build, loving others, supporting others. And now it's time for you. I feel like even if it's your children. <laughs> and I know you're like, what? But I, I just felt that for somebody. Like, it's okay. You can take some time for you. You can do what it is that you want to do, okay? You can date. You can play. You can be, have a life outside of mommy and daddy, you know, because my parents, I'm not a parent yet, but honey, I didn't raise 10. And I have a godson that I have raised from, he he's eight now, and he was the age of two, honey. When I say raise, I was like the daddy and she was like the mama, okay? And as parents, we have to know that it's okay for us to pull away sometimes and just be about us, okay? For my ones that have kids, that was, Spirit just slid that in there, okay? <laughs> so um, next, guys, we have You Are Awesome. And also, if you make a mistake, so what? Like any mistakes that I made in this video, just to show you that I'm not playing my number ones, I'm not editing it, okay? If I mess up a word, so what? Life goes on. It doesn't matter. It says your greatest relationship is the one you have with yourself. You And I feel like that's something that maybe you gave, you know, you put so much time in partners and you put so much time in family and business and everything. Like in the month of November, guys, it's really time for you to put that same effort into yourself. Okay, your greatest relationship is the one you have with yourself. Build it, strengthen it, praise yourself, share it. Share what makes you proud. Your beaming delight will help others shift from glass half empty thinking to heck, I'm pretty awesome too. So I feel like by you living your life, my number one, you're gonna inspire other people to live their life, okay? So we're gonna get into your tarot really quick. We have the magician, okay? The magician, this is you. You're embodying this, okay? You're embodying the magician in the month of October. We also have the four of wands. By you embodying the magician, knowing that you lack nothing, knowing that, you know, you can create and you can do and, and you step into your full power and take the action steps that your intuition is asking you, it's going to be successful. And I feel like this is long-term success. This could be in a relationship, you know? This could be in career. This is on a spiritual level. Whatever steps that you take to step into your full power, power in the month of November about yourself, about your life, um, my number ones, it's really going to pay off. It's going to be a sweet victory, okay? For some of you, I see like you honestly like finding love by listening to your, your 
you know, surrendering to your full power. I see like a relationship manifesting the relationship um, of your dreams. That's what I just seen. <laughs> okay, but listen, I feel like as soon as you step into this magician, this is when things are going to make sense. This is when you're going to leave this 10 of wands, this burden. Whatever pain, whatever been, whatever has been weighing you down, whatever has been, you know, stressing you out, whatever has been like, oh my God, just sucking the life, you know, <laughs> being a person or whatever. For some of you, I feel like maybe you have recently went through a divorce or you are contemplating a divorce. It could be a relationship ending, moving away, you know, um, you know. You don't have to be married, but I am feeling like that. It could have been like in that dynamic or just a relationship that was very, that you see long-term, that you see you marrying this person or creating a life with this person. You know, I feel like some of you are letting that go, but listen, you're going to manifest a partner that is really more um, for you. I don't know why I'm getting like fire and I'm getting like earth energy. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I did see that for you guys. So what I want to do really quick, because I love this deck, I love this tarot deck right here. I just want to, we got the 10 of wands, okay? I want to read something for you guys. I want to read this card. Because by you stepping into your full power, this is what you're going to be releasing, you know, by you listening to your heart, whatever your intuition is asking you to do, by you doing that, this is what's going to happen, okay? So it says, remember the nine of wands. You know, the nine of wands, it's all almost at a completion, but it's not quite there yet. So in the month of November, I see like you completing a cycle, completing a cycle that weigh you down and really coming into a, a lighter energy. This could be you, a mindset, you know, maybe you were really healing your emotions and stuff. Um, but I see you coming. I see you coming out of that. OK, um, so it says, remember in the nine of wands, when I said you might feel like you have taken on too much. Well, now you have gone and burnt yourself out, <laughs> okay? So, yeah, you're leaving that behind. Um, it's just a notch. It's just a notch too much. Too many things to do, expectations, places to be. It's too much for one person to take on. We can sometimes get addicted to the fiery passion that drives us. It can be tough to say no. So just let go. Grant yourself permission to release. Maybe even start all over in, in some form. It's okay. Okay, it's okay to start over. It's okay to say maybe I took too much on. You know, you got to reevaluate some things. It's totally fine. But I feel like in you doing that, this is where the magic's happen. This is where you're going to really connect with what's for you. For some of you, I see like there's a move. Contemplating moving somewhere, you know, or even going on vacation. You know, just taking some time to yourself is what I'm seeing you should do. My number ones, it's going to be beneficial, okay? So also we have inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. Listening to your heart is going to going to bring you out of whatever whatever has been burdened. Okay. I feel like my number ones, you really don't listen to your heart or you hear your heart, but you really don't follow through with it. And that's what I'm seeing that it's time for you to do in the month of oh my God. In the month of November. Because a lot of you, we have mystic healer. Healing energy flows through you. Yeah, you're here for a bigger purpose. And I feel like you're going to be connecting that. This could be there's something in healing, be it speaking, be it, you know, a nurse, a doctor, you know, some some kind of mystic. But I feel like you're here to heal um, yourself, number ones, and really help other people heal. So I feel like maybe you could be changing a career, you know, it doesn't have to be all woo, -woo like this, <laughs> but a healer can show up in different ways. No matter what you touch, you bring a healing energy. So I feel like it's something, um, it's, it's definitely time for you to do something or it's going to be well worth it. Whatever you do, be it a move, be it a career change, be it on your inner level, getting some Reiki, getting a therapist, you know, whatever it is, booking a reading. I don't know. I feel like it's really going to be beneficial for you. Okay. Because it's going to help bring you clarity about the next step. Because there's something with life purpose and you just really allowing anything you do in the month of November, even towards career or creative project, where you allow your healing, um, your natural self to be and flow, it's going to heal you and show you some um, things. 
So we also have commitment here. So where are my singles at? Okay. <laughs> so I feel like um, this is from my love and relationships. This is the only card that I picked to her loves. So like, I feel like, yeah, you, for some of my um, number ones, you're going through a deep healing when it comes to your love relationships or how you view love, okay? And I feel like um, for some of you, you're coming out of this energy. But I really feel like there's a definitely, I don't know why I keep seeing Taurus. I don't know. Something that is maybe a little stubborn when it comes to love. <laughs> but I feel like, or maybe you haven't had the best, the best luck. There's something about um, on a, on a, um, into oh my intuition is telling me there's something how you view you love maybe there's a type you know and i feel like there's something that you need to come out of your comfort zone because i really feel like a love of a lifetime is here for some of you i do see if you are in a committed relationship you know i see your relationship going to the next level i see like even if you're married i see it getting better of some sort okay for a few you'll know your story keep in mind this is a general reading okay <laughs> a lot of things are going to come through okay but we have moonstone here heightened intuition be extra aware of your inner knowing as it is trustworthy so i feel like listen you matter how you feel matters my number ones you matter Okay, you really matter and you definitely want to make sure that you are surrounding yourself with um, Tracine, this, this, this stone and really tapping into your personal power because I, when I just felt this, you just feel like you don't know things or you don't know enough or just, or something, it could be in love, it could be with yourself, it could be in your business, but there's something just about you just like, you know, not feeling like your views or what you say or something doesn't matter, but it does matter. You matter. Your voice matters. You know how you feel matters. I apologize if you've been in connections or you've been subject to people where how you feel your emotions don't matter. And I feel like there's like a, there's a break happening. Like your emotions are like overflowing, you know, and it matters. Okay. But I want to read this. I'm willing to accept that it's safe to topple my walls and commit completely to a relationship. <laughs> Listen, listen, maybe you've dealt with con connections where, you know, your emotions haven't mattered. You've hid your emotions. Maybe at one time you expressed your emotions. It didn't go too well. Or maybe you've never really seen a, a relationship that really, um, you know, was healthy. Okay. <laughs> healthy. Okay. That's what I just came into mind. But you're realizing that I feel like there's a person coming along and you manifest this person. For some of you are going to know who I'm talking about or you could have, you know, haven't really fully got to experience them yet. For the simple fact, my loves, that there's still some kind of healing in your walls coming down happening. But it says, um, okay, so sorry about that, guys. I wanted to bring the cards in. But yes, so I feel like um, there's something you're manifesting a new love into your life, okay? For some of my um, love muffin, this could be in the form of a new person, somebody that you already know, for some that you have your eyes on, um, for somebody new or even your connection that you're in, there's a deeper healing happening, okay? Um, with your walls right here and how you view commitment. But it says, either way, those walls have got to go. I might, hold on. It might be one that's already here or one that's on the way. Either way, those walls have to, those walls have, have got to go. Without them, I can go farther, feel freer, and love bigger. And, oh my God, than ever before. <clears throat> Bonus, no walls means I'll save a lot of money on picture frames. So basically, I just feel like, I don't know why I keep wanting to say Taurus. <laughs> Maybe some of you are like stubborn, honey, but, um, you, you know, really when it comes to, to love and maybe you've given a lot of yourself and you haven't really got that in return, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, you know, there's some kind of divine relationship manifesting into your life. For some of you, I would say the month of November, but I really feel it's like preparing you on a healing aspect. Okay. But Yes. Your walls are coming down. And lastly, my loves right here, we have practice. The best way to be good at a skill is to practice, practice, practice until you get it right. So listen, um, 
nothing just happens overnight, okay? You don't just become a, you know, a skilled painter, painting the Picasso and the Mona Lisa kind of things that you've never painted in your life unless, you know, a divine miracle, because, you know, I do believe in miracles, but I'm just saying, don't be afraid to try something new to take a risk, even if you feel like you don't know it, even if you feel like, you know what, I'm not usually good with relationships, I'm not really good with commitment or anything like that, don't be afraid to try it. Also, we have um, grandparent. You have a special bond with a grandparent that can never be broken. For some of you, this is someone who has crossed over. It could be a mother, father figure. It could be your ancestors. But I really feel like there's a sense of you connecting, because um, I don't know why. This could, I just feel like this is spiritual right here. Connecting with your ancestors, connecting with your spirit guides, and really um, having this healing take place ab about relationships. And, you know, it could be a parent or a grandparent or something on an ancestral level of relationships that I feel like is being healed, you know? And even a father figure, mother figure, it's not limited, okay? So my number ones, I hope that this brought you clarity and understanding, okay? I know it did. And go have an amazing November. Don't forget to check out Just Cozy Things, okay, where you can find this candle, any of your self-care needs and rituals. And I will check you guys out on my channel. We're gonna go ahead and go to pick number two. And hola como están my beautiful love muffins, all of you beautiful souls who picked candle number two, which happens to be rose quartz, okay, the love stone. And I don't think I pointed this out, but I want to let you guys know that actual, actually in each of her candles, she actually has crystals okay and this one has rose quartz in it also these candles are hand poured and they burn 50 hours that's what i'm talking about but anyways okay to the beautiful souls who picked this particular candle welcome to everything that you need to know when it comes to your mental spiritual and physical well-being about the month of no November, okay so if you were drawn to the rose quartz I do feel like my number twos there is definitely a lot of heart action heart awakening okay I really feel like there's a dose of self-love self-worth and self-acceptance that you are laying on to yourself very heavy in the month of November if I say October guys please forgive me okay <laughs> so one of the things um, that you guys didn't know, um, your actual stone for the month of November or whenever you're viewing this, I drew for you guys this desert rose, okay? And desert rose is all about purification. It's all about al um, alignment, okay? And mental clarity and self-worth. Hence to the rose quartz here. So I really feel my pick number twos, there is something that you're coming, you're realizing in the month of November when it comes to yourself, when it comes to your worth, what it is that you know um, you want out of life, when it comes to love, when it comes to career. There's something about looking at the value of how you see yourself and really knowing that you are worthy of a love that gives you butterflies. You are worthy of a career that you wake up every single day and are happy to um, go to. I really feel there's a lot of happiness coming into your life in the month of November and I really feel like that's due to you realizing your worth. Knowing that you're worthy is really standing out to me right now, which is amazing, okay? So, we're going to jump right into it, but before we do, I do want to change the light really quick, guys. Don't kill me. <laughs> okay, do not kill me. Okay, I really like this one. Okay, so my love muffins. Also with this mental clarity that's coming for you, my number twos with your heart um, really awakening, there's a sense of you realizing, you know, making a list and I heard and checking it twice <laughs> gonna find out who's naughty or nice <laughs> like basically what uh, that was so weird guys but oh my god basically you're making a list about what is worthy of your time and you know what's not you know what it what what deserves 
your energy, what deserves your effort, and what doesn't. And I feel like by making this list, and I feel like for some of you it's gonna happen naturally, you can do it now, but honestly, it's going to happen to you in the month of November, and it's really gonna help you get clear. You're really going to realize, you know, um, whatever you have been um, kind of in a mental f um, fog, fog about, I feel like this is something around relationships or just how you're treated or just your worth in general, um, you're going to get clarity on that. You know, I really feel like there's a great turnaround that's happening and, and it's happening with you, my pick number twos. It's some, there's just some kind of love and just compassion that you're just really giving yourself that maybe you just didn't give, you've given to others, but you didn't give it to yourself. I, I just feel like there's some kind of reckon, um, someone's recognizing your worth or you could be like getting a, a raise of some sort, but there's something around worth that's really showing up on a high level, like in the good, in the good in the good area when it comes to worth, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get into all of your delicious cards right here. So what I wanna do, what I did for you guys is when I pulled this card, this is what this is what is going to be your manifesting and your life in the month of November. And for you, my number twos, we have gratitude right here. It says, universal love shines through the miracles of life and all around you. So there's a sense of everything coming together. Divine harmony. You know, you, you're really starting to enjoy life, enjoy a situation, just enjoy your relationship with yourself that is just making everything else in life so much better I just feel like so much love vibrating around you you know what where what wasn't working you know there's some kind there's something that you're realizing that you know I feel the need to say this to my um number twos you know how people treat you is not how has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. And maybe for some of my number twos, you know, you took how people treated you or situations that happened, you kind of took it personal. And I feel like in the month of um, November, you're realizing, no, you know, it's not about you. That's a personal issue. Um, and for some of my little empathies, I just feel that. I feel like there's a need. You're going to be clearing your energy, cutting cords, moving away from what doesn't serve you. And this is really going to lift your vibration and put you back into that love that you were in. Okay, so I really feel like you're going to be manifesting gratitude. You're going to be manifesting that universal love where you can shine through and where miracles are birthed for you. Also right here, we have a spiritual awareness. Can you guys see that? I don't want to mess it up with the light. But I feel like with this spiritual awareness, my um, number twos, this spiritual awareness for you is really around your worth and you knowing that you're deserving and you knowing. Um, and once you know that, that is how you call it forth. And I feel like that's the energy that you're coming into. Like something is falling away. Whatever kept you stuck, whatever kept you not feeling like, you know, you know, you're your best. I just see you that falling at the wayside. Like, you know, you're deserving, you know, you're worthy. Like, I just feel like you're, excuse my language. You're just coming into this hot shit in the month of November, which is amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I really feel like your self care game is up to par, honey. There's some kind of rituals that you're getting back into. It could be even with crystals, candle work. There's some kind of ritual, something that you're doing, my love muffins, where I just see you coming back home, returning home to self on a spiritual awareness of who you are, what it is that you want. There's a sense of you just reclaiming your power, you know? And I'm telling you, back to the basic, back to the basics is what I'm seeing for you. Be it if it's like journaling, scripting, meditating, whatever you were doing, I don't know, yoga, honey, <laughs> dance, whatever it was, reading books, you know, journaling, candle work, whatever. I just feel like there's a sense of you coming back to home, coming back home, which is amazing. Back to the basics, you know? Like you're feeling yourself. I just hear Beyonce like feeling myself <laughs> come into play. So for your energy nurse angel messages, which you guys got two cards, it says um, persistence pays. Your guides are saying you have been persistent. You are in the midst of achieving of, of achieving something to check off your action list. Congratulations. So yes, 
you've been dedicated on your self-love journey, on your self-love walk. You've been dedicated to yourself. You've been, um, you know, doing your rituals, doing that. So you're on the horizon of manifesting something very, something that your heart desires. Okay, so gratitude, just keeping that energy, my love muffin, you are there. Persistence pays off, okay? It really does. And next we have rumor has it that someone has been doing their due diligence. Oh, I said that word right. Look at me. Okay, toot toot. <laughs> Tuning into the universal guidance system. News gets around the galaxy fast, okay? Guides and angels are cheering you on. Your crown chakra spiritual awareness is in its it's in the zone and so are you. So like I said, you are back, honey. You back like you never left my number twos. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. I just want to make sure I get all of this into the... Um, it's my Virgo moon kicking in, making sure I get everything into <laughs> focus, but I'm so proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourself. You guys are freaking going to be killing it in the month of November. Okay. So also we have hearing inner guidance, really connecting, tuning in, listening to your intuition, the purple, taking that spiritual guidance that spirit is sending you. I see for you guys. Okay. Inviting ecstasy. What is that doing? By being in gratitude, by focusing on yourself, by putting you back for, um, front and center or keeping you front and center, what is that doing? You're manifesting your best life. You're inviting ecstasy into your life in the month of November. My intuition flows whenever I am still. I love this effing energy. It's like there's just the sense of you knowing like you can manifest and have and create anything. This is oh, so beautiful. It says, I'm worthy of all my pleasure, my heart. I'm worthy of all the pleasure my heart desires. And you know this. This is not faking it. You know this, that you're worthy. Your intuition has been screaming this whole time. For some of my love muffins, you've been listening. But for some of my love muffins, you're getting it. If you ain't got it, honey, you if you haven't got it yet, you're getting it in the month of November. That you are worthy, Okay. A lot of heart action here, a lot of, you know, a spiritual, there's something with your heart and, and spiritually that's connecting in the month of November. It says, I trust the intelligence within me. Your intuition are becoming best friends. This is what's bringing you all of this goodness. You're actually listening to your intuition. There are no problems that do not have a solution. There are no questions without answers. Gratitude, finding the beauty in every situation. I'm an advocate for that. And I really feel like in the month of November, that's the energy that you're coming into. You're realizing and you know what? This is merely a stepping stone, okay? You're asking yourself, instead of crying about it, instead of, you know, prolonging this lesson, you're like, okay, what do I need to get? What do I need to see so I can move on, okay? Also, we have embark, um, embarking on a, an adventure. I savor the, wonderful, the wonders of the world. So I really feel like this is you guys. There's some new adventure within yourself. I really feel like for some of you, you could be traveling, you could be moving, but also I just feel like on a spiritual level, there's, you're embarking on this new um, adventure and journey with yourself about putting your needs and your wants first is what I'm seeing. And then for my, um, the manifestation, manifest, manifesto, yeah, that word. Okay, we gain power from again and again, allowing ourselves ourselves to choose the kind of recklessness that allows us to be vulnerable, um, genuine and brave. Okay. And genius and genuine, no genuine and brave in pursuit of our dreams. So I really feel like this is the energy you're embodying. Didn't we just say that? Like you are really realizing your worth. You're really putting yourself first. Where I feel like my beautiful pal number ones, they were like really used to putting everyone before themselves. No, you, you know, even if you fell off for a while in the month of November, honey, you're getting it back together. You're realizing like, no, 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 no. I got to take care of me first. Okay. And that's what I see you doing in the month of November is very wise. You know, if things get a little hectic or you want clarity or you're trying to find some answers, answers, connect with the earth, go out in nature. It's, um, I see you guys, you know, defining 
for deepening your connection with nature, even being mindful of the clothes that you wear, standing out the foods that you put in your body. I see some of you trans, um, I said transferring, <laughs> but I see some of you guys transitioning into being a vegan or just, um, even if not a full on vegan, but um, a vegetarian or just a pesticarian or just making more conscious decisions about your foods and the earth and just taking everything in accountability, which is beautiful. Again, we have another mother earth right here. Okay. And this is, um, you, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. So I feel like, yeah, there's something you're connecting deeper with the earth and just being mindful about what you put in your body, how, you know, littering, like you're just being mindful of your products and there's something about the earth and nature and just really connecting in the month of November. It says it's time to stop procrastinating. I feel like this is something that you're leaving behind right here. Maybe you were um, a love muffin that, you know, I'm guilty of this too. Um, putting things off on the back burner, but I see like you're coming out of that energy. Okay. Your current obligations and responsibilities can no longer be put off. Chop, chop, chop. It's time to buckle down and do the work. And I feel like you're coming into this energy. Okay. You'll be so relieved and proud when you when this is behind you. So no procrastinating in the month of, how about say October, November, okay? You guys got two, two. So what I feel like what you're doing is you're tackling your fears. You're facing um, the things that you, you know how sometimes like there's things that we gotta do and we, we do like we say, we do the little things first and then the big things later. No, I see you like taking on taking on the massive things and saving the smaller things for um, later. Or if you're not, that's something that you should really do because it's going to help you, my number twos. It's really going to help you. Oh my God, you're just going to feel so, so lighter, so flowier in the month of November. We have surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can achieve, once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. And I feel like this is what you're doing. You're no longer holding on to things. You're like, okay, hello, spiritual team. I'm here. I need help. <laughs> you know, and also my number um, twos. In the month of November, if things get a little hard, call on your spiritual team. They're here to support you. They're here to help you. Ooh, I love this. So for your tarot for the month of November, we have the two of wands. You know, actually, I was skipping through. The order was the Ten of Swords, the um, Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So I feel like, again, Ten of Swords, depletion. Oh my God, heavy. Okay, there's a lightness that you are, you're releasing a lot of, of past energy or procrastination or anything that like you have been putting off to the back burner that you didn't really want to face that you've just been adding like collecting like these shells i see you releasing that and that's going to release so much gratitude so much abundance like i said make that list <laughs> checking it off naughty or nice even if the naughty was you my number twos i just feel like you know what you are moving away from bs of any kind from anybody including yourself and by you making this decision right here with this two of wands, maybe you were indecisive, you were indecisive about it. And I feel like all these decisions that you're going to be making, that's going to bring re um, bountiful in the physical right here and bring about these new beginnings. It's going to be on a spiritual internal level. Okay. That's what I feel like this inner balance within yourself and your worth and aligning your chakras is something with aligning your chakras. Pay attention to like doing meditations with aligning your chakras I feel like it's going to, mm, even these things that you've been carrying, whatever this 10 of swords is, whatever you've been carrying, I feel like when you let that, when you let that go, that's going to align your chakras right here. Okay. So don't be surprised in the month of, you know, November, if you haven't already gotten into this energy, if things are a little hectic, okay, how you move past this 10 of swords is not it's by not putting off not procrastinating not you know um you know by by not facing your fears like by if you make a decision to not procrastinate to face your fears head on to take whatever's to look at whatever's challenging you and just be about it this is how you're going to come into this energy and really align your chakras but what this card is says things may feel at rock bottom 
but have faith in knowing. So sorry, guys, I was drinking tea. <laughs> have faith in knowing. They don't get any worse from here. And I feel like number two, is that something that you realize? Like, it's only up from here. Whatever you were going, whatever you were going through, or whatever it hit you in the month of November, or for some of you in October, or even in 2020, it's only up from here. Like, you can only go up from here. That's the thing that I love about hitting face bottom. You can only go up. You know? And, and even having that um, positive swing on things is really going to bring a lot of gratitude and unlock a lot of ooh, delicious things and an abundance into your life, okay? So we have, how can you mother yourself? Star mother right here. And I feel like this is what you're embodying. You're really focused on yourself, your well-being. What can you do for yourself, my loves? Okay, and it says distant thunder, clear the air. Like I said, make that list, check it twice, find out who's naughty or nice, who deserves to be in your life, what deserves to be in your life and what doesn't and who needs to go. And I feel like when you do that, it's going to clear the air, you know? And even with this distant thunder, this can be like almost like a tower moment that has happened in your life, you know, that you had to like embody this energy, you know, and if this ha tower moment hasn't happened yet, don't fear it because it's really, it's really going to show you who you are. We also have giving. I welcome the idea of give and take in my relationships. Mm. I feel like there's a tower moment in love happening for you. Number two is where you're going to realize like, listen, if, if you want to be, if you want to be in a relationship with me, like if you want to do this, if you're trying to talk to me singles and committed, like there needs to be an equal exchange here, honey. There has to be a give and receive. That's just the balance and the law of the land that's that's the balance and the law of relationships it needs to be receptive it has to have balance when you're just giving 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 it's like ooh, no you know and I feel like you're being open to receive really moving away from the past the past fails in relationships and really healing that okay we also have stress Waller Millen, um, tourmaline. Did I say that right? I hope I did. Stress reduce. Okay. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and re, um, review. And I feel like this is revive yourself. So I feel like this is you, my number two, is just really focused on yourself. Okay. Focused on yourself. Move away from any connection that makes you feel like, you know what, you're too needy. One of the things that I learned, you know, um, cause this word is really threw around loosely, like codependent, you know, codependent, no, sometimes no, you're not codependent. It's just that maybe you have never been in a connection where your wants matter. Okay. <laughs> your wants matter. And I, well, I was watching a TV show and the girl was like, I'm super codependent. And he was like, or you've just never been in a relationship where your wants matter. And it, I'm like, oh my God, like that like blew my mind because, you know, if you are finding yourself you know, with a person who is not willing to give or, you know, they just take, 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 um, and you found yourself in these connections, it's not that you're codependent, it's not that you're asking too much, it's just that you're asking the wrong person <laughs> because they're unable to receive. And it makes you overexert yourself. It makes you seem like, oh my God, okay, I'm doing a lot. No, when this a lot is not, it's not. It's the natural law in a relationship, okay? I welcome the idea of give and take in my relationships and I eagerly practice the give part. By giving freely, I discovered just how fun giving really is. Giving my time, care, and attention to someone else actually gives me good feelings, which makes me want to give even more. Wait a second. Does this selfish, does this selflessness make me look selfish? Be honest. And how I'm saying this to you, it's about in your relationships, make sure that you are receiving, that people are giving. Because I feel like you pour a lot into people. It's, it's time for you to make sure that people are pouring into you, okay? And if they not, they on the naughty list. You know, eventually when they want to get it right and get it together, they can get back on the nice. But until then, gotta go, okay? So also, so for your Believe Unicorn Magical mes Message, guys, so sorry. We have let go of stress. Don't take on the other person's stress. Breathe it out now. My little impasse. You got to do that, okay? Um, water. 
don't drink it says drink more water and eat foods with water in them such as fresh fruits and vegetables like i told you you're really changing your eating habits so like i'm saying there's definitely a need for you you're letting go of emotions that don't belong to you past emotions other people's emotions i really feel like doing the um empath um aura protection you can find those on youtube super um super amazing. It's really going to be beneficial for you. Do it for 21 days. Do it for the month of D November Ooh, and probably the December too. Do it every day. Guard your energy, you know, release. Um, they have it. Just say in path protection meditation. You have some for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. You deserve that a day to clear your feel, cord cut, remove any things, attachments or other people's emotions or how people feel about you. And I feel like that's really going to get that stress off of you and help bring you into alignment. Okay. So my number two, that concludes your self-care package for the month of November. So we're going to go ahead and go to number three. I will catch you over there. All right, and hello, my number threes, you beautiful souls who picked the last candle. Okay, pick number three, which was the Sea Opal Meditation Stone Candle. As I was saying, all of these candles are hand poured and they burn 50 hour burn time, which is amazing, okay? So my number threes, I'm gonna jump right into it. The first thing that I wanna let you know that there is a lot going on for you in the month of November, okay? And you have a little bit of tight spots, a little bit of what the Fs, but I promise you, keep going. I know this is your life, like you have no choice but to keep going, but it's going to be worth it in the end, okay? So first thing is with this sea opal. This is not a sea opal um, stone, <laughs> but um, it went perfect with it. But what I wanna let you know is that it's very important in the month of November that you meditate, okay? Because I feel like these experiences that you are going through in the month of November, this is actually helping you find inner harmony, inner peace. It's bringing in balance. It's bringing to balance your masculine and feminine energy inside of you. Also, I really feel like there is a major, major, major connection with yourself happening in the month of November, but I feel like there's a love connection that you're going to be getting clarity about, okay? Or really the reason why you're going through this for my singles, there's there's some kind of connection, divine, divine connection. I'm like all over the place, guys. Divine connection coming into your life, okay? So coupled with you picking this particular candle, your stone for the month of November is my black tourmaline and moonstone okay so black tourmaline if you're not from i hope i'm saying it right but anyways you can google it i will list it down below this is a stone of protection so i really feel like there's massive change happening for um some of my love muffins okay i feel like what i want to let you know no matter what is going away just know just know that it's happening so something better can come together okay because this stone is a very healing stone um the moonstone is really tapping into your emotional feminine energy fem feminine energy hence the moonstone okay it's great for manifesting it's great for your emotions that's the main word that's coming to mine for you number threes also the word that comes to mind for you in the month of november is restoration whatever was taken whatever you felt like you know damn you were you know about dealt a bad hand what i want to let you know what i want to let you know can i speak and i am not editing um it's all going to, justice will be served, okay? Justice will be served. You will get your just due. Restoration is happening in your life. Whatever left, okay, whatever you felt was taken, whatever you felt was done incorrectly, just know that in the month of November, honey, it is going to come together and it's going to not only come together, but come together for your greater good. So one thing about um, the Black Terminal is really for... Um, strong masculine energy. So I feel like with your emotions, you know, you're getting hits. Your heart is really open, okay? So I feel like any questions that you need, really look within side your heart. What is your heart telling you to do, my number threes? What is your heart 
asking you? What does your heart feel? Tap into your emotions. Tap into um, that part of yourself that maybe you've kind of kept quiet or you haven't really, you know, focused on, okay? Because I feel like there's massive change happening in your life. For some of you, this is a spiritual change. This is in the love department. This is just in your, your everyday life, even your home environment. But these changes that are happening, okay? is for the better. And I know sometimes it's a little scary, but it's for your better. So as far as what are you manifesting, this card is going to be what my pick number threes are manifesting. And I don't know if you can see just how this girl is just like ascending up. I feel like you're rising like the, um, what's the word? What's the bird? The phoenix, you know, from the ashes, you rise from whatever crumbled, whatever fell, whatever you, whatever you dropped off, whatever happened, you are going to emerge in the month of November so much stronger, so much better. Okay. Because, um, the, the word for you, what you're manifesting is transcend, transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. So you're getting out of any st- sticky situation or any situation that was not ideal for you. Okay, baby. And I really feel like this is just something within the physical body, whatever limitations, whatever, you know, a mental, for some of you, it could be like a mental sickness or a mental depression or whatever was grabbing you. I just feel like November is the month of overcoming, soaring. Okay. Also, we have physical bodies. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be paying attention to your physical well-being, your body, you know, really. Um, and for some, like, whatever it is, even if it's some kind of sickness, you're a little worried about what's, you know, corona or whatever, anything or whatever has been taking a toll on your physical body. I see rest, um, restitution or that's the word that came to mind. But I see, like, divine healing. Like, whatever, you don't need to sweat it because you're over, you're going to overcome it. Okay, you are going to transcend whatever you're facing in the month of November. I just also want to let you guys know, I just feel like a warrior spirit, a spirit around you, male or female, like, listen, the fight is real. Okay, my number three is the fight is real. And this is why I meditate, okay? Make sure that you're meditating in the month of November. So as far as your energy nurse, okay, your ax angel messages, Um, The first one we have, there's music in the air. You may start to hear beautiful frequencies from the angelic ram. They are very good musicians and provide healing sounds. Hint, you do realize those sounds may not necessarily be a harp, okay? So just know that whatever is transpiring, whatever is happening in your life, it's for your greatest good, okay? You're going to come out on top. You don't need to worry about it. It says your angels say there's way too many reality shows in your world today too much drama on the airwaves okay they suggest you change the channel go to um satellite tv um better yet go to the universal um tv stations um the reception will always be good as long as you raise your antenna so i feel like listen whatever you feed is what will grow my number three is that's what spirit wants you to know whatever you feed is what's going to grow in your life i don't care what you're looking at at any moment you it's all about what you choose to look at what you choose to view that's what i'm seeing right here okay it's all about what you choose to view what you choose to look at because in the month of November. What I want to let you know, I'm not trying to freak you out or anything, but I see you honoring adversity, okay? And befriending pain. Really making amends with your past. Really, you know, taking whatever you're facing head on. It's going to strengthen you. It's going to make you better, okay? And, you know, this might not be ideal to be in this emotion or in this feeling. However, you know, um, you can do this. A fire reveals a path of renewed direction once the burning is complete. So I feel like whatever is being burnt away is for your highest good. Whatever is leaving your life is for your highest good. Whatever comes, may it come in the month of November, allow it to happen, allow it to just burn whatever it is. And you're going to have to find, you're going to find a new path, you know, and maybe this new path that you're walking and this new path that you're on, it might not be ideal, but spirit is saying befriend pain. It says when discomfort becomes a friend, my most limiting beliefs are healed because this is going to show you like, listen, if you can overcome this, you can get through anything. Okay. For some, I am feeling like it might be like an addiction or something. Um, but I feel like whatever's happening, 
everything. It's so that whatever was cluttering your life, you guys were the one with the most cards, okay? Renewing your life. Radiant vitality is filling my life. Clutter, you're getting rid of. You know, maybe um, some of these things that are leaving, you're like, oh my God, why is this happening? But it's moving out clutter so you can, so what is really for you and the things that are really of you and of your highest good, okay, manifesting dreams, my dreams are coming true. So listen, yes, it might have been a rough past. For some of you, this is a past energy that you're just, you know, okay, you're, you know how you sometimes things happen and you just have to take it in right now. I feel like that's for some of my love muffins, but this is where you are, okay? In the physical body, like you're manifesting your dream. Just know that whatever is happening is making way for your dreams to come through. So we also have with affirmations, I claim my inner power. So I know like, you know, for some of my number threes, you can feel it. Um, if you, if you're like, wait, Victoria, this isn't fitting my life, you know, definitely want to try another pal. But I see like this for someone who's really been having like a hard time. Listen, I'm, I'm, I just feel keep going. Okay. Blast on your inner, um, your inner your I said inner affirmations, but your affirmations, all right, so you can claim your inner power. Affirmations have really helped me, and I know a lot of people have something to say, but guess what? At the end of the day, I know what is real and what's fake, and if I sat here and tell, tell you affirmations repeatedly, listening day and night have not helped me, I would be lying. I wouldn't even say that. So I really feel like my number three is put on your affirmations. Replace music with affirmations. No matter what I choose to believe or say, the universe always says yes to me. Therefore, I choose only positive thoughts and words. Like I said, yeah, you know, you might be going through something, but don't claim that, okay? It happened, it happened or whatever, and now it's time for something else, something something that's greater, something that's, you know, better for you to happen. That's what spirit is saying. Speak what you want to see. Okay. You know, um, next for my love muffins, we have from the, um, motivational manifesto. We have, we must ask if our desires feel safe and accept and accepted are in fact enslaving us to popular opinion and to boredom. So I feel like in the month of November, a lot of this could be happening, my number three, is because it's getting you to really honor what it is that you want. Honor what it is that you want out of life when it wants to, when, what you want in love, what you want when it comes to career. What is your spiritual practices? What are your spiritual beliefs? Are they yours or are they in favor of your, um, you know, your, your family or what you grew into? It's all about you really identifying you authentically you okay it says the nine declarations one meet life with full presence and power okay two reclaim your agenda this is what the month of november is really embodying for you and yes this is a lot a heavy energy but i promise you there's so much light at the end of the month for you because we have number three defeat your demons five advance with um not even gonna abandon <laughs> we're not even gonna play with that um six okay practice joy and gratitude seven do not break integrity okay eight or seven oh my god one two three four five six seven amplify love um eight inspire greatness nine slow time so i feel like listen just get through it is the main thing that i'm hearing okay and I really feel like these moon cycles in the month of November are really going to kick off. And um, I feel like working with the moon cycles is going to benefit you when it comes to manifesting what it is that you want, being in love for your spiritual aspect, for career, moon cycles, manifesting, paying attention to the moon cycles, getting a moon ritual. That's something that you need to do with these, with the moon cycles. It's really going to help you get in tune with your emotions, put you in divine balance and manifest what it is that you want. For some of you, this is your own place. This is something Something very dear to your heart, okay? Because I'm just noticing her holding her heart right here. Male or female, it's going to happen, okay? Also, we have Mott. Fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So whatever was done wrong, just know that it will be done right. And you're being guided to make waves. Whatever is happening in your life is getting is happening so you can shake up, so you can get out of 
whatever it is that you were, you know, maybe you thought that this relationship would work forever. Maybe you thought that this is the way that it was meant to go. In reality, no, that's not of your highest good, okay? And we have your purpose is joy. Whatever happened is the getting waking you up so you can experience more joy, more love in your life, my love. It says your purpose has nothing to do with who, how you make a living. You know, your purpose is joy, okay? It's time to, I feel like a a car would have came out. It's like, it's time to get out the treadmill and just really focus on what it is that makes you happy. Maybe your focus was somewhere else and spirit had to shake up some things to really bring it back into focus. But I feel like for some of you, this is a past energy. Also in the month of November, because of what's happening, listen, you are going to be surrendering to inner peace, cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Meditation is very important for you. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy the inner refuge, okay? Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So that's what spirit wants you to know. Okay, now let's look into your tarot right now. We got tarot. You guys had the most tarot cards that came out. So first you have the hair font. Okay, then next you got the queen of pentacles right here. Then you have the five of pentacles and you have the 10 of cups. And I feel like stick with it. Commitment. Your commitment is being Test it right now, my love muffin, okay? Your commitment about what it is that you pour into your life. I was telling my beautiful number two is like, they need to make a list, okay? Figure out who's naughty or nice. You need to check it twice, honey. And I feel like this is a list that you're gonna be, but it's more so for you. What are you committing to that is no longer serving you? What are you committing to that keeps you in this five of pentacles energy that keeps you out of this 10 of cups, happiness, fulfillment, the love that you desire? Is it a relationship that you keep giving and giving and giving and you're not getting anything back? Is it a relationship that's dead and it's time to walk away? You know, is it that, you know, you don't feel like you're worthy? What is it? And it doesn't have to be in a relationship. That's just an example. But overall, you know, spirit wants you to take a look at the higher fun is about commitment to me. That's my card of commitment. What are you investing? Queen of Pentacles is a giver. What are you giving to mothering? Okay. That is not in alignment with your life right here. Align your life. What is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? And I feel like this could be a little harsh. I'm going to keep it so true and so honest with you, my number threes. Okay. It might be a little hard to take a look and just see, but I promise you by doing this, this is how you get into this 10 of cups energy um, in the month of November. Begin now, take your first step, okay? So some action. You gotta look at, you know, your life. Look and see like, what am I indulging in? What am I doing that is not in alignment with who I truly am, okay? You know, because with your love and relationships card, we have benefit of the doubt. I believe in the basic goodness of other people and I give them the chance to show it. If they prove me wrong, that's on them. At least I can go to sleep knowing that I participated, that I practiced trust and forgiveness rather than fear and doubt. And later on, if I need to, I can always change my mind, okay? And I'm really feeling like for some of you, this is a this is an energy that you just went through, okay? And you're closing this door. You're like, damn, I just all went through that. And you probably realize you're here, this 10 of cups. Definitely wanna pick another pal. If you resonate with that, okay? Because you're at the end of this, baby. Like you already made that list. You already made a, um, you already made a devotion about who you're gonna be committed to and who you're not. Okay, is this connection, are these friendships, is this person, you know, or is this way of life or the way that you feel about love, is this in alignment, you know, with who you are? Is this positive for you? Is this good for you now? Okay, we also got multi-faced. So there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about, okay? And sometimes, you know what? You have to allow people just to be them, be it family, be it in love, And then, you know, if they're meant, they'll come back around, they'll get it together. But you can't worry about that. You have to align. You have somewhere to be um, be, and you have to begin now, honey, okay? And you're meant to experience um, happiness and joy, okay? You need to surrender to your inner peace. You need to make waves. And if this connection or this person or this situation is not moving that way with you, you might have to leave them behind for right now or leave the situation behind right now and focus solely on you and aligning your life, Okay. Because your next um, cards right here 
um, from the unicorn unicorn um deck is happy thoughts and brothers and sisters. I feel like this is more so you meeting your 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 family, your divine connection, but also people that are more in alignment with you. Okay, happy thoughts. I feel happier right now. Thank. Think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. So pay attention to your thoughts, okay? And pay attention to what you pour and what you commit to, whether it's family. But I do see like you connecting with your soul family or some connections and just getting with some people that really more resonate with you. Those connections are coming in, okay? My number three is, but I feel like the work that you're doing now is really gonna secure these connect connections to come into your life. I feel like 20... 2021 is going to be a whole new year for you. You're going to look around and not know anything, but you're going to be so, so excited. I just feel like a new environment, new people, new love, new beliefs, new, 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 new is, is ushering into your life. So the work that you're doing now in the month of November is really going to usher that into your life, okay? So my warrior, beautiful love muffins, you got this, okay? Go rock the month of November. It was such an honor to do this reading for you guys. I love you guys so freaking much and I will catch you on my channel. Go rock the month of November. Mm -hmm.